hi, hi, hi. A short one. <laughs> I know, I always pull that one off. Okay. Serious now. Who are you? Who are your people? Where do you come from? Have you ever had a conversation with yourself and interrogated who your people are and the implications of you belonging to those people and the implications of covenants the people that you come from might have made before? A simple example, my surname, Wutondolo. And there is a saying or an idiom that says, which means that Dondolo is a measuring stick. And in order for you to know how deep the still waters all are, you actually use the measuring stick. Now, that is, that is quite something. It's heavy on me. The reason why I say it's heavy on me is the responsibility and the predestined role that has been assigned to me. A lot of times when I'm going through challenges or when I've gone through challenges, I would want to just buckle up and be ordinary like everybody else. But then I remember I'm born of warriors. My people are the Dondola people. They are the measuring stick. Let me tell you the story of Dondolo. It is said that my great, 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 great grandfather Dondolo was a very tall man. And while the nation, Yamanguni, was moving, um, whether running away from Infetane or whatever, whenever they had to travel, migrate to the next place, they used to use Dondolo to test how deep the waters were, especially when they were crossing rivers. And when time came for him to journey to the yonder, they actually took a long stick and they placed it against him and they measured it against him. And then while they continued with the journeys, they were using the dondolo stick. So often I've asked myself, is it okay to be used? Because... From being a person, Dondolo, as a symbol of hope and progression and savior, he became an object, a stick, the Dondolo stick. I'm still searching if I can find one. If I can't, then I will fashion one. So when I'm going through trials and tribulations and challenges generally in life, I constantly have to remember and remind myself that I am Dondolo. I am born of warriors. I am born of a great people. That which causes my vein, the very blood and the very DNA that makes me is that of Udondolo. And it has actually helped me in times when I've felt that I've been used, in times when I've felt that I have not been appreciated, and it has allowed me to look inward. To understand that I am Udondolo. I am of a great people. In the olden days, like literally, a living being was the one that a nation would depend on. So again, I'm asking, do you know who you are? I am Udondolo. And I find solace in understanding the importance of having such an important role. And in those moments when I want to buckle up and say, nonsense, I, I'm not doing this. I'm not allowing people to do this anymore to me. Then I, I remember, I remember my power. One thing people forget is that with power comes responsibility. And there are covenants that were made long before you were even born. Even the Bible says that uh, there's a place which we used to, it used to be used at church while I was growing up. It speaks about how God curses the third and the fourth generation of those who do not show love towards him or obedience and blesses the third and the fourth generation of those who show obedience. So what covenants 
have been made on your behalf before you were even conceived. Do you ever scrutinize that? And how can you then challenge those covenants and do right by you? Because those covenants could have been done, you know, for a certain purpose at a different time than the time that you are living in. But you were bound to those covenants. What are the implications of those covenants to your existence now? And how can you overturn their consequences? So many times things happen to us and we ask ourselves, why is this happening to me? And I got to a point where I actually had to now ask myself, who are you? Namaste Andrea Dondolo, who are you? Who are the people who made covenants on your behalf before you were even conceived? And how can you overturn those covenants? How can you understand whether you want to uphold those covenants or you want to overturn them? But it's important for you to understand who are you? I am. Unomasebe Andrea Dondolo of the Ngunis, of Eeu, Ehukua. I'm a fifth generation of Amanguni as Eeu. And Isizi Basivuwa Ngot Dondolo, that is heavy. That is heavy, heavy. Even books, the Sikosa, have that saying, Isizi Basivuwa Ngot Dondolo. But I'm, I'm turning that around so that in times when I feel I'm being used, in times when I feel I'm not appreciated enough, I have to remind myself, by the way, I am Udondolo. And I rise above circumstances and say, hey, you are a warrior, born of warriors. Be the warrior. All right. Stay blessed.